This is Scoops Bayless reporting live in Manhattan's Chinatown for Feline News Network on growing unrest in the cat community and the novel that sparked a cat fight unlike any we've seen before. Best-selling author Lynn Truss's new novel is getting rave reviews, but the cat community is calling oh. cat out of hell feline phobic. <laughs> Recently, a group of cats' rights activists has been protesting the book's release, using a local cat cafe as their base of operations. I headed over to the protest to speak to the cats' rights movement and hear their demands, as well as get a chance to scratch them between their cute, fuzzy little ears. At first, many of the cats' rights activists were unwilling to speak to me on the record. However, after a few belly rubs and treats, they began to open up. And what I discovered was surprising, to say the least. Excuse me, do you have any thoughts about Lynn Truss's new book, Cat Out of Hell? Yes, I do. This book is clearly anti-cat, and we're not going to let this stand. What is not all cats? It's questions like that that tell me you bought into this anti-cat culture. You probably think we're all plotting to kill you. Go ahead, lamestream media. Say it to my face. Cats are a proud species, and we're not going to take this lying down. Calling a book Cat Out of Hell reinforces the stereotype that all cats know Satan, and that's hurtful. I'm extremely allergic to cats, so I was ready to pack up my gear and leave. But before I could, something incredible happened. In a surprise move, Lynn Truss has arrived on the scene to offer a catnip branch to her detractors. How do you feel about the cat latch to your new novel, Cat Out of Hell? Well, um, I don't think there is one. The cats I know that have read it have all been very pro, actually. They, they, the thing is, it's about how incredibly clever they are, and I think they all kind of warm to that. Thank you. But Lynn wasn't done. What happened next will almost certainly surprise you. You know, I never thought I'd say it, but Lintrus, you're all right. I gotta say, I'm a fan of this book. Lintrus really understands how stupid humans are compared to cats, and that means a lot. It certainly appears that cats' rights activists and Lintrus have found common ground for now. Or should I say, for meow. This is Scoops Bayless, reporting for Feline News Network.